This time I will uh, show an example of a tight column design. So these are my given data. Dead load 130 keep, live load 180 keep. Assume initially a gross reinforcement area 2%, a prime C4. 1000 PSI, a 60,000 PSI. So eccentricity factor, assume 0.8. Uh, strength reduction factor 0.65 again these two value may not be given if it is not given see your book what is the updated value and it is a uniaxially loaded short column uniaxially loaded short column so what are my steps what i will do step number one as i told in my video uh, calculate load so 1.2d 1.6l so 1.2d 130 keep 1.6L 180. Yeah, I am solving this problem from your book so that I can do quickly. So my load is 444 keep. So step number one is done. Step number two, what I will do? Rosie. Either assume it. Uh, what is the minimum? 1%, maximum 8%. Assume a number. But problem already gave us 2%. So it is non 0. Two. Step number three is calculate AZ. Calculate AZ. What is my uh, design? Uh, what is my equation? We know our equation that is So use this equation, this value is 444 keep, this is given 0 0.8, this is 0 0.65, whatever it is. So AZ is known 0 0.02 AZ, then 0 0.85, something to see, this is given in keep, keep, so A prime C will be in keep, 4 plus 0 0.02 AZ times FY60. Now something to remember, if this is keep, this value, this value, not PSI, KSI. Okay, so if you solve it, you will get AZ equals, I'm taking from your book to save time, I got 188 in square or something I forgot to tell you that the problem told us to design a square column a square so the problem told us to give a, a design a square column okay a square so I need this amount of uh, uh, this amount of size uh, the area based on this row now if you increase your row this will decrease if you decrease your row, this will increase. So this area is not a um, exact value. It depends on your reinforcement. More reinforcement, less size. Less reinforcement, more size. Okay. Now, if I use say 14 inch times 14 inch, how much? It is 196 inch square. So whatever we need, we cannot provide exactly. So if you want to provide a 13 is 13 is 13 times 13 is uh, 169. You can provide 14 13.5, but fraction we do not like it. Uh, say 14 by 14. Your book, uh, you will 14 by 14, yes. Now in next step, what I need to do is AST. AST, we have to calculate it. Okay, so what is our uh, equation to calculate it? Equation is PAU alpha phi gross area minus steel area 0.85 A prime C plus steel area steel uh, stress. So it is known 444. This is a 0.8. 0.65 gross area now I know it 196 do not use uh, this value because I am taking this value then AST 
0.85 it will see then ast i do not know times 60 then from this calculate your ast if i see your book uh, they found 3.31 so they found 3.31 in square okay then what is our next step next step is uh, step number five take a size of the bar your book uh, took six number uh, seven bar six number seven bar that means we are providing three point uh, three point six one in c square so whatever we need we cannot provide exactly sometimes uh, to choose the bar uh, so the bar uh, we need to provide more we cannot provide less now six number uh, number uh, seven bar is square it needs at least number four at least four bars so we we could take other other also there's not a single answer okay so if i open your book uh, appendix table a4 table a4 say if i want to choose four bars that means four number nine if I choose four number nine, I am providing four in C square. So you can do that, but it's so high. So high. So maybe this is a good choice. Six number seven may be a good choice. Okay, so number uh, uh, six is uh, five is done. Six, tie. So, okay, I need more space. So tie, what is the size of the tie? Number three. Why number three? Main reinforcement is number seven. If main reinforcement is up to number 10, tie can be at least number three. So number three done. What is the spacing? So spacing, you, you know that either this, this, or column size. So our column size is 14 inch. This will be diameter of the main bar main bar diameter so 7 by 8 48 lowercase d means diameter of the this uh, tie so 3 by 8 so it becomes 18 inches it becomes 14 inches if i am not wrong let me yes so what is the minimum minimum is 14 inches so we will use number three 14 is tie then step number seven we will do detailing 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 and check so take a big case one enforcement two reinforcement three four maybe five six here okay so how many six number seven then use a tie 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 here tie is number three at the rate of 14 is now is 14 is a good number you can use 14 is uh, 14 is one center you can also use 12 inch because 12 inch is a very popular number one feet one foot very very popular number so you can use less you cannot use more if i am the design engineer i will use 12 to make a round number your field labor or field engineer they will love it okay something else my clear uh, sorry my uh, clear space between two bar should be at least one inch or bar diameter do i have it yes i have 14 inch here 14 inch here so my clear uh, uh, here to here say 2.5 center to here say 2.5 inch so what is the clear spacing clear space i should not calculate it because it's well known it is clear that it is it will be more than one inch or bar diameter we still do calculate it so i have 14 is minus 2.5 minus 2.5 i deducted it 
then minus half of bar half of bar full bar so 2 bar 7 by 8 dia and how many spacing 2 what is the clear space okay should i calculate it i know it will be okay but i want to make the video length smaller divided by 2 there might be some mistake because i am doing very quickly so 3 is more than 1 is or bar diameter 8 is so minimum clear spacing is okay okay now other question is do i need another tie here yes or no so in your book if you see that if the center to center spacing is more than 6 inches, then you need it what is the spacing here to here so 14 minus 2.5 minus 2.5 so total is this uh, 9 is 9 divided by 2 so here center to center is 4.5 inches. so i do not need additional okay something else too if the spacing is more than 6 inches, you must need it if the spacing is less than 6 inches, one bar can be untied that means i do not need it actually again if the center to center is spacing between two bars is more than six inches you must need it if the spacing between two bar less than six inches one bar that means if i had another bar and the spacing is less than six at least i need one i can leave other but i do not have that option so here i do not need any additional type okay then almost done uh, take uh, and yes almost done and tell that 1.5 is but do not write it if, if we could say center to here 2.5 that will take care of it okay so we are done here you can do better sketching and uh, show all the dimension clearly 14 inches right here 14 inches 14 inches right clearly i am stopping here because if i make it longer you will not watch this video so hopefully you understood here do that do all the detailing and all the settings uh, thank you oh something else also the same uh, same design if the problem says spiral then the change will be here all the equations will be same but this will change here will be new uh, new spacing calculation but everything else is almost similar in this uh, next video i will solve another spiral column so that you can see the difference between tight and spiral uh, thank you